Hi guys, today we are taking on Ahmed, the F-Pawn Pusher. He loves to play the Dutch and attack with as many pieces as he can. He's his local club champion, so you better come prepared. He's a really interesting bot to play, guys. He tests whether you can convert a winning position. So he does all this stuff, you know, Gambit and Pawns on the king side, which is pretty much the worst opening you can possibly play. I think we go after these light squares, right? So he'll give you an advantage in... The opening but he's balanced out where even though he's bad in the opening that made him super strong in the middle and end game i mean this is another pawn for me and another with check okay <laughs> so they can take this and we recapture this we're gonna have to move the bishop back it's true we're gonna ignore this pawn you know they've got enough development We've only got two pieces out, and now they're attacking this bishop twice. So we have to slide back. Maybe we take that and damage the structure. Oh, God. Okay, they're coming after me. We get more pieces out, right? That's the plan. We've got this covered. And now we're just going to try and just take this. I mean, it gives them double pawns. Let's do it. We're up two pawns. They've got an exposed king. Now I've got to make the decision. Do we try and get this into an end game? Which I just said he's very good at. Or do we try and just attack? Now he's got this sort of open king. I can't take this pawn. If this, we target in this pawn here. We want to get castled. And they're letting us just grab this pawn. Why? Is, can they go like... Move this, and then the bishop's attacking my knight in this square here. Maybe I don't need to take this pawn. But it does free up space for my other for my other knight, so I actually like it. So that improves the structure slightly. So they've got these two pawns here, two pawns here. I mean, it doesn't look great, does it, for them? Back here, I think I'm fine. Maybe this. Now, what if this hitting the bishop? If I just trade off pieces, I mean, I'm up three pawns, guys. This is, it seems like I'm massively winning, but trust me, I've, I've tried and lost twice to him before in similar positions. He's just clinical in an endgame. So this getting the final piece out seems very natural. What if we do go for this, though? Has he got anything with that bishop? He can just move it like there. And then we've got a sort of silly looking loose knight. I think we get the final piece out. Let's just regroup. We're up some material. We're happy with this trade, right? Giving up another pawn. Oh my god, do I take it? Do I push? I can't push, they just take. If it takes... I, I'm, I've got to move this bishop and it looks uncomfortable. So I feel like I've got to take it. <laughs> it's just getting such a lot of activity. I, in in the last video, I tried to play him and beat him, and I cancelled the recording because I, <laughs> I hung a piece at the end, but I was describing him like an octopus. He somehow has this awkward, big, bulbous head of the octopus, like king, just... <laughs> but then all his pieces, like, just come around this bulbous head and somehow achieve such activity. Dexterity. So... God, I need chats. <laughs> right. Uh, we're going to... This is hit. Do we care? Do we go like this? Maybe they get a check. I think we just get castled and give up this pawn. Very happy to do so. We're up five pawns. <laughs> five. If castle... We get mated. So, okay. Um, so maybe we move the queen. Hit the rook. That looks interesting. Although, the rook is defended by the knight. But if this, maybe we can castle this way, create an alignment issue. We certainly can't castle this side into this rook attacking. Push this pawn though, can't we? Like, what do they do? I don't want to... I, I want to be ready to give up material to try and get my pieces out, but I don't know if this is the time. Like, if we play this, I, I don't know what they've got. Just kills the effect of these doubled rooks, right? 
this they take so now it seems like a time to get castled put a rook opposite their queen and now look for opportunities to force trades here five points of material guys i'm not gonna let this go yeah i tried twice before but i, I started rushing a little bit because i wanted to make the video short but this time i'm gonna, just, gonna make sure so if castle what have they got this knight doesn't look very active but they do want to move it to open up this dark square bishop, but king would cover this square. Now they're instantly, like the octopus, coming around, just lining a rook up with my king. All right. Already just a little bit scary. Can't play this. Too much coverage on that square. Could go like this though now. And just start sending my pawns at that, at that bad boy king. But if Rook here, got to get active, guys. I've got to. This would stop the Rook ever coming in. And then maybe they move this and say so they move the Knight and just add pressure to this. But it is covered a lot. It looks cohesive, this move. Maybe it opens up this Rook. I love that word cohesive, guys. It is important. Did you watch that video I did, by the way? Top 10 tips. Let me know if that helped. It didn't get as many views as I wanted. I thought it was a useful video. Top 10 tips to gain ELO. So there's almost this big fork, but they... Well, there is, actually. There is that fork. Because if takes, I take, and I've, I've got a piece off the board. I'm also hitting their rook. That looks quite forcing. Um, if this and they come in, I take. And yeah, they can take this pawn, but I take. So, I mean, this just looks like forces trade, right? Just double checking for tactics here. While there's a lot of pieces on the board, it could get scary. I think this is okay. I come back, though. So, they've added another attacker to this, which would win the, the knight. But luckily, I can just block. So, if this now, that leads to a trade of the queens, right? They've not got any more checks. They just, what? What? Setting up this mate threat? It's like such octopus-like genius creativity. Giving up a piece to, to unleash this dark square bishop and to threaten this mate. That is so creepy to play against. It's... Oh, there's a check, but they go here. Oh my god, I really don't like playing Ahmed. He's so scary. So if this, though, they take like that. I'm happy to give up this bishop. This at least would put their rook on a silly square. And then maybe I play rook here, try and line up with the queen. How do I trade these pieces, guys? I'm up, <laughs> I'm up a queen, but I still don't even feel like I'm going to win this. He psyched me out. If this covers this square, but then they take and they've added an attacker to the knight, I think we've got to play pawn up and just give up the bishop. It's just any benefit in throwing that check. It puts the, bish it puts the rook on the edge of the board. I think it's honestly worth it. I don't see a way in which I hold on to this bishop. Gotta defend that square. Or do I? If check here... Do I even have to defend that square? What if I just go like this greedily holding on to the bishop? Bosch. Check. Here. Check here. They've not got a mate, right? This doesn't work. I don't even want to entertain the idea of this, though. I think I'd rather just give up the bishop. And I'm still up a rook. And then I, I don't even have to think about this. Isn't that just easier? Easier on my mind. This is the queen.
they take, I'm very happy. Okay, so this is the rook. Takes, takes, they get that. And I'm only up five points. Not do anything too stupid. This, to try and trade the queens on this square. Are they trying to get this though, if takes? Are they trying to do this, takes, here, here, here? Oh god, yeah, they've got threats, okay. But if this takes, I get check. Takes, takes, but then they've won a piece of it. I think I've got to defend this knight again. Make it super solid. All right, now this. And now what are you going to do? Block the light squares with the light square bishop. Okay. Ahmed, so good. Even when down material, just creating threats all over the board. Here, hit that, hit that bishop. Surely, I mean, there's, there's got to come a point here, guys, where my material is going to show. I'm going to feel like I'm winning. They're trying to re-allow this threat. What about this? Just lodge in on here. This here, this. No, this. They've got two two attackers. Um, all right. Uh, this to get this looks nice. The knight is nice and defended. Don't see any tactics now. This right? Surely this just trades the queens. No, it doesn't because they get this. Oh my god. Ahmed, this. Hit that rook. Rook comes here, here, or here. This is tiring, guys. Ahmed is just tiring. Very nasty. So do we slide the king over? To defend this square? I don't know how to clean this up. Just playing the most awkward moves. Um, this. See, normally I'm overthinking it now. I realize normally I just like play that and be like, "Well, what you got? What are you gonna do?" So let's do that. And then maybe this, but I'm opening up my king a little bit. This. No, I'd love to disallow this move. So like this, this, this stops bishop coming here. And then I can play this and trade the queens. That looks like an idea. Let's just not blunder in the next few moves, right? That's all I've got to do. This covers here. This knight is important. Otherwise they get this, winning the queen. <laughs> he says... As he's about to move his knight off the crucial square. So if this, just add in a bit of defense here. Or just push. But then they get these dark squares and the threat and stuff. Except they can't go there. So I think I just close off the rook. But then they win this pawn. Just so many threats have been created, guys. Very scary. This. Then what? Then what, eh? <laughs> okay, then that. Um, so this square has three attackers, only got two defenders, so maybe I go here. Takes, 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 takes. I'd lose my queen. So this. That square's become weak, but I don't know how their queen really punishes it that quickly anyway. Wow, kicking my queen off the dark squares so they can try and infiltrate with the queen. Okay, very, very scary, guys. Maybe this square looks interesting here again here, but the queen covers it currently. I just, my pieces aren't that good. They're not that active. This... Okay, I just feel like he's slowly wrapping his tentacles around me. 
And now he sacked a rook. Here. Checkmate, dovetails mate. No, no, if here, this isn't mate, I take. And if this check, oh, but if this, I go here, they get this. Pretty matey, is it? No, I take. I think, I think my king's getting away. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's try it. Doesn't even go for the king, he goes for the queen. Oh no. Um, this? Oh, is that it? Oh, is that it? Does that trade the queens? They've got, they got a check. Does that trade the queens? I'm up a queen. This forces a trade at the queens. The amount of pressure this guy puts on you, even down a queen. The way he just look, look at the activity of of his pieces. Look at this. It's terrifying. I don't think I'm overreacting, guys. He's he's genuinely brilliant, despite his bad openings. He's Nasty. So here they've got this check. I go here. They've got no more checks, right? They've not got a mate, right? They don't. Phew. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. I still that was like what if with this, you know? We've got this. Only square. All, all this. But yeah, the bishops. And if here, there would have been a reveal of the tower with a rook. So, they're going after this pawn. Do I just hit their bishop? This. It reconnects the whole position as well. This, they take my rook though, I guess. But I'm up a queen. I think I'm happy to... Take that trade. This. Take. Yeah, I'm still, I honestly still think I'm like, <laughs> I'm like there's a chance he's going to mate me. All right, this. Yeah, yeah. Where is his checks? He's got this check. I take, right? The knight stops me getting mated. Otherwise, that would be mate. I think we can be greedy for a second. Just, I'm just double checking this isn't mate. So here, takes, here, check. Only move with the king. Oh no, we could take that, couldn't we? Yeah, we're fine, we're fine, guys. I'm, I'm overstressing it now. And now if here, I just want to get out of checks. This, op this opens up my, my uh, bad boy. Rook? Got this check, but then we run here. I think we're fine. I honestly want to just sack. <laughs> um, this disconnects. This is the final little thing just to kill any tension they've got in the position. It disconnects their dark square bishop from the rest of the game. Yeah. They've got one check. And it doesn't worry me. Got this. And that's it. That is it. Right? Check. An absolute monster, guys. Ahmed. Brutal. This pinning. Honestly, I might just take. Um, or this, maintaining the pin. This is pinned. So if check here. There, that bishop is almost trapped. Do I do this? Do I need to do that? I don't know if I do. Maybe I'll just bring the king. Let's not get scared. Just bring the king. Everything's fine. What is this bishop doing? We can keep bringing the king. 
trying to get myself to relax now. <laughs> um, so that would hit the bishop. This is going after the final pawn. But they come here. We push these pawns. This. I don't see the check. Oh no. Wait, what? Check? Check wins the rook. Did Ahmed make a mistake? Wait, was he back in that? No, I think I still win, don't I? Maybe he didn't do this because it loses. But bringing the king looks natural. This. This to just defend. Still creating threats, guys. Just absolutely. Just ridiculous, this bot. Yeah. Where does he go? Is there a fork? It's got this, but the knight's defended. Yeah, I mean, this to kick the bishop. What's he got? Nice, nice. We get a trade. Oh my god, phew. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm confident I can finish this position out, but that was absolutely nuts. Ahmed, one of the worst bots in the opening, and I think definitely the most creative bot I, I've ever played. Really, really interesting to play. Just the way he got his pieces active. Hats off to him. Check. Let's not stalemate. Um, cut the king off. This coming. Or this pawn. Up to the edge. This guy come in. Have they got a move? They've got they've got this, right? They've got a move. Like and subscribe, guys. Oh. <laughs> they get out. Um this, they've got a move. Still like and subscribe. Thought that was made, but it's not. So we got this. Jack. Is this going to be mate? Should be. Against the king. Yeah. King cutting off their escape squares. Absolutely mesmerizing to play. Even went down a queen. I, I Maybe you think I was uh, getting in my head and overthinking that a little bit, guys. But I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. You can see the threats, right? Even down a queen, he was creating massive threats. So let's add, analyze this game. Fascinating game. So, here, all good moves. We have to bring the bishop back, and he gets a lot of activity. Take, just to damage the structure, the engine doesn't like it. And here, doesn't like that move, because it leads to too many. It just gives up one too many pawns. And yeah, I was, I was happy with that move, just killing the effect of the rooks. Castles was nice. Even here, this dark square bishop, once it got activated, it was very scary. Yeah, so I guess the engine probably thinks I should just go cold-blooded and accept this, maybe. If here, was it leading to mate? I don't think it was. This here. No, it, it was actually fine, I think. I think I was just getting worried. Oh, there was this by take. I just didn't I just didn't want to entertain the idea of the queen getting in. I know it was a bit weird of me to play like that, but And this was just a lot of precise moves needed to try and clarify the position. That was bad. Because of this idea. Brilliant move. <laughs> Leave us a like for the really move, guys. And then this, forcing the trade of the queens. I, I, I really don't care about the rock at this point. Up so much material. And then thank god they decide to trade a few pieces later on. I was considering just sacking the rook at this point. I mean... And then this was fine. That brilliant move, I mean, I don't think it was that good, was it, really? I mean, why did I play that move? I 
played it because we got away, right? This here takes, takes, and here in. Don't we get away somehow? So, so why is it so good? Let's... This, the best move is this, we block. I didn't, I didn't see this, but I just thought somehow we got away. <laughs> yeah, I probably didn't deserve that brilliant move, guys, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Go out there and beat Ahmed. You'll need to get a big advantage in the opening because at the end game, he is creative, octopus-like, and brutal. Good luck, guys. See you next time.